The memory of those Christians who gave their lives during the communist persecution in Albania was very present during the meeting of Pope Francis with the Albanian priests and religious people. I nostri martiri sono morti gridando viva il Papa e oggi vogliamo gridare insieme An 84-year-old Albanian priest told Pope Francis how he faced hard labor in a concentration camp for 27 years. A nun who had to live in hiding also gave her testimony and could not contain her emotion when she greeted Pope Francis. The Pope himself set aside his written speech and spoke off the cuff. He commented on the reading from the New Testament, which spoke of the consolation that God brings to his people. For the Pope, the priest and the religious nun that shared their experiences were living examples of martyrdom. He explained how they survived religious persecution. Sentito in questo brano della seconda lettera ai Corinzi. Dio è Padre misericordioso e Dio di ogni consolazione. È stato Lui a consolarci. Pope Francis also highlighted that they could overcome such hard times thanks to the prayer of many Christians. In a friendly way, he asked Christians not to look for comfort far from God. Io non voglio bastonarvi oggi. Io non voglio diventare il boia qui, ma sappiate bene, se voi cercate consolazioni in altra parte, non sarai felici. The Pope admitted that he wasn't aware of how ferocious the communist persecution was until he had studied it carefully in the last two months. He also confessed that he was surprised to see how much suffering the Albanian people had endured. Before leaving St. Paul's Cathedral in Tirana, the Albanian bishops gave the Pope a cross that contained pictures of the martyrs, as well as an icon of Our Lady of Good Counsel, patroness of Albania. <laughs>